All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 27. All right. So regex can also take specific flags to alter the pattern matching behavior. Flags are added after the closing slash, and the G flag, which stands for global, will tell the pattern to continue looking after it is found a match. So here's an example. We'll do a const hello regex in, in between these two slashes. We have hello, and then after the last slash, we've got the G, all right? So basically what this means, if there was like a uh, string that said like hello, this is hello, and that is hello, and this is hello, and whatever, just a bunch of hellos in it, right? Uh, it would match every single one of them because if this thing's not here, it'll match the first one and that's it, all right? And we'll get into matching and stuff later. So uh, let's go check out the regex page where this is at. So we'll come over to the MDM web docs after we type regex JavaScript in the uh, Google bar and we'll just scroll way down here uh, until we get to this advanced searching with flags. And you'll see right here, we've got the global search right here, which is the G. And then we also have case insensitive search, which is the I. And these two are the main two that are used. In fact, I've never used any of these other ones, so I don't even know what they do. But uh, if you want to look them up, uh, this is where they are, right? So let's come over here. And all we got to do for this one is just put a G right here after this slash, and that's going to take care of it. So let's uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 28 and we'll see you next time.